your discretion. Hey everybody, it's the Fulber here, and uh, wanted to do a little bit of a review on a new pair of gloves that I had gotten. Um, sitting here, staring at the uh, F4i. Gave it a wash and wax yesterday after the ride we went on. Um, the weather's really starting to turn nice. We even still put about 350 miles on this so far this season, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I had a couple of people ask me about the gloves that I was wearing in some of the winter vlogs. Plus, I picked up a new set of summer gloves, so I figured I'd give you my initial impressions on that. All right, the first one, the first set of gloves we're going to talk about are my winter gloves. These are the Technic Chicane gloves. They are leather. They are non-perforated. They are... Um, Perfect for winter. They are a size large, and as such, they fit beautifully because the leather really is, these are really broken in. I probably get about two seasons on these at least, maybe three. <clears throat> My only complaint about these is that the knuckle protector sometimes after a while will start to dig into your knuckle. I think it's on this side. But regardless, they are a great glove. Uh, they are gauntlets. If you like gauntlet gloves, and I, and I was a big fan of gauntlet gloves. I was wearing them exclusively they have a nice uh, rubber protector right here uh, full leather double stitched a little padding over here uh, like I said no perforation they have a little bit of a flex panel right here that allows the knuckle protector to move but like right now right now at full squeeze full grip which you probably never get on a bike but even like that I can feel it it is touching my knuckle a little bit and maybe it's a stitch on the inside or something like that but you know what they're great <clears throat> excuse me they're a great set of gloves and they're perfect for the winter my next set of gloves are the Cortec Injector uh, gloves, also uh, gauntlet style, size large. Um, these are super comfortable. They're, they're very much like the uh, Technic Chicanes, except <clears throat> they are a thinner leather, just a little bit. And they have good perforation between the fingers. You can see them over here. They have a molded plastic knuckle protector and you know, finger protectors. They're double stitched in the high impact areas. Uh, very comfortable. Like I said, I was all about gauntlet gloves for a while and I probably have about probably about the same. Maybe I have maybe three years on the Technics and maybe two on these. Um, these are a great glove. Um, I got them at a super price and I do wear them from time to time. Can't wear them in the winter because there's just too much perforation. Okay, these gloves are my, I'm going to call them my 70% gloves because I do wear them about 70% of the time. You can wear these in early spring to early summer and then all of fall until it until it gets below like 45 degrees and you'll want to go with something else. Um, these are the Twist of Fate SX, I believe, by Speed, Speed and Strength. Um, these are the second pair I had. I had a pair that were black and red that I picked up when I had the F4. When I got the F4i, I wanted to match it a little better, so I picked up some blue ones. I like these so much. They are full leather. They have a... And these are also a size large. They have a molded plastic knuckle protector. One piece. <clears throat> they have flex panels on the front for real good flexibility. They have molded rubber on the front of, you, of all your fingers. They're double stitched also, all full. Like I said, it's a full leather glove. They do have some perforations between the fingers and they have padding on the impact areas here. Nice clasp, really comfortable. They have a, um, a flex panel that's like double sewn so that when you move, you see the, uh, the knuckle protector moves. These are an amazing glove and I got these on clearance for a song so I really couldn't pass them up and I do love them. So if, I mean, if you could still find them, I know they've been discontinued. They're a great glove. And like I said, I have about a season on these and I had a, I don't know, maybe a season on the other ones. Which brings me to the newest gloves. These are the Alpine Star Arbiters. They are um, a summer glove for me. Uh, it was between this and the Alpine Star SMX2 Air Carbons. Um, I decided on these because I wasn't so sold on the durability of the SMX2 ACs. I know a lot of people love them. It's their best-selling glove, yada, yada. I know that. But for me, I really like having a leather palm especially. It should be noted this is a size XL, extra large, and they're still a little tight. They have to be broken in. I've only worn them around the house a little bit to break them in. You see they have a goatskin palm, and they have that synthetic suede, excuse me, that uh, Clarino on the bottom here and a little padding in the extra zones. So they have a nice pull to get the um, 
to get the glove on. They have a nice logos here, 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 and one right there. I do like the logos. What makes them super comfortable is that it's goatskin and clinarino on the bottom. The entire top half of the chassis is all mesh, so air is going to come flying through here. These will be probably my late June, July, and August gloves. Um, I like this, the carbon knuckle protected it's split. I was a little apprehensive of this because I never had one, but let me tell you, you do not even feel it. Um, it's it's nice. This is also on a on a panel that has a lot of flexibility, so that doesn't dig into your skin at all. Um, it has extra TP, TPR, I think it's called, on the fingertips for extra protection. I mean, you're sacrificing a little bit of protection for the, this kind of comfort. I mean, it's got perforations here. It's got mesh here. So this is going to flow a ton of air for me. This will be great for the... Um, the summer rides but like i said keep in mind that these do size small as many alpine stars do this is an xl and it fits pretty tight um a 2xl would have been way too tight and a large forget about it because maybe because these are um letter two but so far i really like them the price point on these is about fifty dollars i really like i said i really like them so far i haven't worn them on the bike but i anticipate them being really good for the uh, warm weather months so that's it. I mean, in order of protection, you have um, the most protection I have are the gauntlet gloves, the um, um, core tech injectors or the Technic chicanes, the speed and strength twist of fate shorties offer a great deal of protection. These offer probably a little less, but like I said, I'm going to have to give up a little bit just to be more comfortable because my hands got really warm last in the heat of the summer. So I hope that um, helps your buying decision. And so far, I do like these, and as soon as the summer months come around, I'll be definitely be riding on them. All right, everybody, if you have any questions or comments, I'll you know, leave them in the, in below, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much. See ya. Riding on a motorcycle into the mountains. Is there any other place you'd rather be right now?